Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Beeline to Victory podcast. We have a lot to get into, so we'll get right into it. Uh, today, we're going to recap the game uh, against Maryland. We're going to preview the Iowa-Illinois game because Michigan will play the winner of that one. And then we're going to take a look at the Big Ten tournament as a whole. So, Michigan absolutely thrashed Maryland on Saturday, 85-61. to They scored 54 in the first half and led by 30 at halftime. Muhammad Ali Abdur Rahman had 28 points, along with 8 assists and 7 rebounds. Uh, when I took from this game, Rockman is becoming a really, really reliable scorer, along with Wagner, who's obviously a really reliable scorer. You have Robinson off the bench. You have another super, a, a future superstar off the bench, Jordan Poole. There's a there's a lot to take in this game, and I was really, really happy with this win. I I thought they were going to lose. I was wrong. I was happy I was wrong, but I was really happy with this win. It's a good one to build on and a good confidence builder going into the Big Ten tournament. I also, I want to shout out Mo Wagner for making all Big Ten second team. Uh, Duncan Robinson was the sixth man of the year in the conference, and Muhammad Ali Abdur Rahman was an honorable mention. I didn't have a problem with any of these awards. I didn't really think anybody got snubbed. I thought the Big Ten did a pretty good job choosing who was on which team. Katie Bates, the up, did win player of the year, and Chris Holtman was coach of the year. All right, so I won Illinois will play at 6 on Big Ten. I think it's at 6. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock on Big Ten Network tomorrow, and the winner will play Michigan in the Big Ten tournament. Uh, these two teams are very bad. They are not good teams. Michigan will beat either one of them. But in my mind, I when you look at Illinois' full-court pressure, I think they set up well in this game, and I I don't think Iowa I think Iowa has I don't really uh, I don't really trust Iowa. I mean they've beaten a couple they beat Northwest. I'll give them that, and uh, they've had some bad losses though. So Illinois to me is a very young team. They're up and coming. They're got a lot of energy going into their first postseason game, especially against a team that's not that good. Um. So, yeah, and they do have a better overall record there uh, in the conference. One more win. No, they have the same amount of wins, but I think Illinois did win head-to-head. So, Illinois plays good teams tough, too. They almost beat Purdue. Uh, they played Michigan really tough. Played Ohio State very tough. So, I'm going to go with Illinois in this game. And the Michigan game will be 2.30 on Thursday on Big Ten Network, whoever they play. All right, so now we're going to talk about the Big Ten tournament as a whole. I have a filled out bracket right here. Um, so we'll start in the 12-13 game. I already told you, Illinois-Iowa. I'm picking Iowa or Illinois to win this game. And... There it is, 57 to 52 is my final score. I think it's going to be a close game, but there's not going to be a lot of scoring uh, because these two teams are just not very good. Um, Minnesota and Rutgers. Minnesota is a talented team. They they haven't shown it this year, but I'm going to roll with Gophers. Um. So, yeah, and then we're going to go, and that's an 83-51 final for me. I think Minnesota destroys records without a problem. Wisconsin-Maryland game, this is a really interesting game to me. These teams are pretty evenly matched, but watching Maryland a bunch this year, I think I really like the way they play. I really like Kevin Herter. I think they win this game, and um, I think Wisconsin goes home. Without making the tournament for the first time in a while. And that for me is a 73 72 score, a very close game for me. Maryland, Wisconsin, two pretty evenly matched. And then, if it works out, Illinois beats Iowa, we'll go to Michigan and Illinois. And I don't think Michigan's going to have too much of a problem. I think they advance with a 75 61 win over Illinois. 
Penn State Northwestern. This is set uh, seven of the ten. Penn State, they play well against good teams. They don't play well particularly against not so good teams. I think Northwestern is decent, and I think they're good enough to win this game. They're a pretty good defensive team. So I got McIntosh and the Wildcats winning this one by a score of 61-58. Uh, Indiana and Minnesota. Indiana is not a team I trust. I don't know how they finished six in the conference. Minnesota is a team that repeatedly this year has not performed when they should. Um, but they have the talent to. Indiana, just the talent's not there. I don't think they're very good. I'm going to go with Minnesota, the 11 seed, to make a run to the quarterfinals. I think they beat Indiana 71-67. to uh, So then we go to Michigan State and Maryland. Uh, I actually think this is going to be a very close game, and I would not – don't be surprised if Maryland wins this game. Maryland is a tough team. This is not a team anybody wants to play in this tournament. But I am going to pick Michigan State just because there's four teams in this conference that are actually pretty good. Um, and I go 86-81. I think it's going to be a close game. Uh, Nebraska and Michigan. Nebraska blew out Michigan the first time. That game may have been the most mad I was at, at before after any game this year. But nevertheless, I'll pick Michigan to win. I think that was a fluke game. I think 73-60 is reasonable. And I think they'll win pretty comfortably over a lesser Nebraska team and send Nebraska to the NIT. Uh, Ohio State Northwestern, this one is pretty easy for me, Ohio State. We'll probably win this game by double digits, and they'll win pretty easily. 68-47 is my final score because Northwestern is a pretty good defensive team. Purdue, Minnesota, another easy one for me. Purdue is just too good uh, for Minnesota. This will be a long enough run for the Gophers. Send them packing 89-63. Blow out there. We head to the semifinals. Uh, Michigan State, Michigan, uh, this is a perfect rivalry right here. And wouldn't it be great if they played Ohio State in the final? But I don't have that either, but. Michigan State, Michigan, I think it's going to be a very close game. Um, this game probably means more to Michigan seeding-wise than Michigan State. They're going to get a one or two anyways. And uh, I go with I go with Michigan right now. I think they win this game. Close one, 78-74, Ohio State and Purdue. I think uh, Ohio State's been slipping, so I'm going to go with Purdue in this one. They're a uh, more experienced team as well. Close game there. And then Michigan and Purdue in the final, I think they play pretty much to a draw. And this, this might be a game where you see a classic Big Ten tournament final clash. But I have Michigan out on top, 74-70 in the end. And that is my Big Ten tournament bracket. Uh, also, I want to mention before we go that I will be with a – Michigan State fan, Ohio State fan, another Michigan fan, forming another podcast called The Big Four. Big for the Big Ten. So if you guys, that would be great if you guys could listen to that. Uh, first episode's coming out tonight. Well, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Uh, go Blue on Thursday, and we'll be back on Friday. After, hopefully after their quarterfinal game against Nebraska to recap everything that's gone on in the Big Ten tournament. Thank you for watching.